Hey everyone, Vorl here with another 3D tutorial. This one is going to be on the snake. This is a really fun maneuver, a very personal maneuver. For some of you may not know, I'm going to demonstrate it for you. I'm going to go over here, push the nose into the ground with the right rudder. And then alter back and forth with aileron and elevator. Now you can do this a few different ways. You can go deep, like you're almost turning. Or you can really go shallow. It's up to you of what you want to do, what you like to do. But So we're just going to land here and I'll show you exactly what's going on. Sweet. Okay. So as you saw there, I'm going to cut the engine. So as you saw there, I'm in a knife edge type form around that area going no more than past 45 degrees. I'm keeping 45 to 90 between that area going back and forth with the same left or right wing in the air. I like to do the left wing in the air using right rudder to push the nose down and then we're keeping altitude with the elevator. Now, a good thing to practice and you'll notice if I push the nose down and I gotta keep it up with the elevator it's gonna constantly kinda go in like a circle just like this. Which is fine, this is actually a very good way to learn. It's gonna teach you how to go up and fall. So I would definitely recommend to do this before practicing going back and forth. Just kind of do nice circles. Really, you can really just fix the aileron in one place and as you see the sticks are barely moving at all. And you, you can really go up, you can just do whatever you want. Then, when you learn how to do that, we're gonna start to go back and forth. So same thing, we're going to push when it's upside down, 45, switch, elevator up, switch, elevator down, switch. So right, left up elevator, right down elevator, left up elevator, right down elevator, and back and forth. So I'm going to come right down here and again show you another good thing to practice is going to be flat turns. So flat turns are going to make this uh, easily learnable. Practice flat turns both left and right. And then practice what we just did with the rudder pushing into the ground and going in a circle. Now, before I get too far, you're going to first want to know what side you're going to want to go. What, what rudder you're going to want to do. I personally do the right rudder. That, for some reason, is more in tune with me. You can do the left. That's completely fine. It's still going to be the same. So I can, I'm going to demonstrate both, but it's mostly going to be on right since that's what I'm more in tune with, but I'll do completely both. And for you Mode 1 guys, I'll do Mode 1 a little later on the video. So don't get out of here. It will be here. Now, a few things to keep in mind. When you have the rudder deflected, and when you're learning, don't do full, don't do, just use around between uh, 30 and 50%. That's a good place to start. If it feels too much, too sensitive, bring it down to 25. There's nothing saying that that nose has to be pointed straight at the ground. It's a learning process. So practice small, practice in baby steps, and use just a little bit of rudder. Next, we're going to want to talk about snapping the plane. This is a very, it's, it's somewhat of a simple maneuver, however, a lot can go wrong in a very short period of time. What I mean by this is when you have the rudder and aileron deflected all at the same time and it's going to happen constantly, 100% of the time you're going to be switching back with all three surfaces deflected. You're going to be snapping the plane and it's very easy to do so. So practice this on low rates. Learn it on low rates. And let me show you a little demonstration of snapping the plane while doing this. You're coming in with the rudder and boom, there's a snap, and I barely move the stick at all. So practice this on low rates because it is again, going back over, snap. Very simple to snap the plane. So keep those movements small, keep them very smooth, and you won't snap the plane. If you do snap the plane and are headed to the, to the ground, just let go of the rudder, let go of the elevator, recover, just like you would any other move, it doesn't matter. 
this is another one of those moves that you're going to want to practice at altitude. I would say 100 feet enough that when you do snap the plane and you go into some type of spin, you have enough altitude to recover. All right, everyone, here we go. We have the mode one set on the remote now for everyone who flies mode one. Going to get into it. Do a little snap to knife edge here. All right. So again, using right rudder to push the nose down. Going to turn around here. All right, here we go. So we're going to do right down elevator, left up elevator, right down elevator, left up elevator, right down elevator and turn around. Left up elevator, right down elevator, left up, right down, left up, and just like that all the way through. All right, now let's do the left rudder. Here we go. I'm not near as in tune with this, but let's see if we can get it going. Here we go. Right up, left down, right up, left down. And say this to yourself, it really does help with the controls. Because this orientation is a little weird. You might not have ever seen it before or felt it before. So talk to yourself. Don't be afraid to do that. It's not weird. Just talk to yourself, get that orientation down, and you'll be able to just run circuits. Perfect. Alright, so we're going to come back around here and land. All right, here we're gonna got the slow motion going. So we're gonna pop in to knife edge, as you see with the left rudder holding it. And as soon as we turn around, we're gonna push that nose into the ground, starting the snake. Now for this demonstration, I'm doing a very light snake because that's what you're gonna be doing for practice. So then we're just gonna push it over, switch, right down elevator, left up elevator. And we're going to keep doing that all the way through. When you get through a turn, just hold the turn through like you normally would. Not a big change there. All right, guys, if you have any questions, comments, this was another requested video. So please request videos, request moves if you see them. I will be more than happy to put them up. Put them at the, down in the comment section. It's all good. Check out my YouTube for other tutorial videos. And until then, this is Voro signing off. Have fun flying.